Well, a project in Western Kenya is using biogas technology to tackle two major pollution problems. Through a special digester, the invasive water hyacinth is being converted into clean cooking fuel. Erem Koja tells us more. The shores of Lake Victoria are in trouble. Invasive water hyacinth, native to South America, clogs the shallow waters on the Kenyan shore, strangling the ecosystem and the local economy. It allows bacteria and disease-spreading mosquitoes to flourish and blocks fishing boats' access to the shore. So Biogas International, a Kenyan energy company, has a solution. What we're doing out here on Lake Victoria is we're harvesting this, what everyone considers to be a real menace and a pest, an invasive species, and it has many, many negative connotations to it. But the actual fact is what happened is a blessing in disguise. Locals here usually use wood or charcoal for cooking, which are heavy on emissions, time-consuming, and can't be safely used indoors. Biogas International's digester kills two birds with one stone. It takes water hyacinth waste and converts it into clean cooking fuel. The gas is tapped uh, from the centre of the, of the actual digester tube. Uh, it comes down, you have a control valve. Uh, the water is the trap to stop um, any condensed water is directed back into the bottle and then the gas flows freely straight to the point of use. Thanks to this project, 50 digesters, which are at a cost of $650 each, would be otherwise unaffordable, have been provided to homes in the city of Kisumu in Western Kenya. Biogas International hopes that its technology will help put unwanted weeds to work and provide fuel for hundreds of Kenyans in the process. Hiram Koja, TRT World.